Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Beko washing machine, the detergent drawer or dispenser drawer and what goes in what compartments. I don't know about you, but I'm always forgetting what goes in what compartment. Right, let's get cracking. Now, if you use these pods or tablets, these can go straight inside the drum and you do not need to carry on watching this video. I hope you're still with me. This is a Beko washing machine here and this is a basic model. So let's just open the dispenser slash detergent drawer and have a look at the different compartments. Now you'll notice you've got these three symbols here and according to the manual, just to make it slightly confusing, this is compartment one, this is compartment two and this is compartment three. Just a word of caution, if you're going to be using the time delay function, that means that the washing machine is going to start in a certain amount of time. Do not use liquid detergent or fabric softener in the dispenser drawers because this can run down into your clothes before the wash and stain them. So if you're going to be using the time delay function, use washing powder or use one of those pods straight inside the drum. So the first compartment is compartment number two. This is where you put your main washing detergent. This is washing powder or liquid detergent. Depending on how much laundry you've got in your washing machine depends how much liquid detergent you actually use and you can measure this out in a cup before you pour it in but generally it's between 40 to 70 millilitres. You can also put in here any water softener or stain remover. The middle compartment, compartment number three, is where you put your fabric softener. Now it's very important that you don't go over the max level indicated here. If the fabric softener is really thick, you can dilute it with some water. You can also put in here any liquid starch. And the final compartment, which is compartment number one, is where you put any detergents for your pre-wash. So if you've got a pre-wash function on your washing machine, this is if you've got clothes which are extra dirty or stained, and you can just do a pre-wash before the main wash. And there's a link above now about how to keep this Beko washing machine hygienically fresh. It's really important to run that program after every 30 washing cycles or every couple of months. What I'm going to do now is just remove the dispenser drawer just to give it a good clean. What you do is you just push down on this button here and that releases the dispenser drawer. Now what you're going to need to clean this is you're going to need your wife's toothbrush. Lux, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? Um, no. And just some hot soapy water. Now what you can do is you can just take out this fabric softener level indicator and you can see how dirty and disgusting they get. This is all mouldy and full of gunk. So just give that a good scrub with your wife's toothbrush. Lugs. And inside the dispenser drawer as well. And I'll cut this footage short and this is what it should look like all the time. Now this can go back in. Before you put it back in, it's definitely worth cleaning the inside of that drawer area there. And then don't forget to put your wife's toothbrush back and hope they don't notice. Actually, I'm lying. This is going to the toothbrush graveyard where I use all my old toothbrushes for cleaning things. And now it's time for a lovely cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.